May God bless you all greatly in Jesus' name. Here we are on the day 14 of the 21 days of the fast of Daniel. And today I would like to share with you a very powerful message on the book of Luke chapter 7 that talks about a centurion that had a servant that was really sick. The Bible says that he was ready to die. And the centurion asked some friends of his to go to Jesus to ask for help. But in the moment that they reached where Jesus was, they did something very different, as I said, by order of the centurion. They didn't ask Jesus to go to where the servant was, was sick, was ill. They didn't ask. On the contrary, they said to Jesus to just say the words, and that would be more than enough to heal the servant. That it was not needed for Jesus to go where the servant was. Because the centurion said, Jesus had the authority that only by his words, without the need of the laying of hands, for his servant to be healed. And Jesus was marveled by that situation. Because that type of faith was really rare at the time. And to be sincere, nowadays, it is also really rare to find. Because, understand, this is very important what's going on. Usually, people would bring Jesus to those that were sick. Or they would bring the sick to Jesus. And then Jesus would do the laying of the hands, the prayer, and so on. But what the centurion was asking was just the words, was just for Jesus to determine. Let me show to you on Luke chapter 7, on verse 7, says here, Therefore, I did not even think worthy to come to you. This is the centurion. But say the word, and my servant will be healed. Look the amount of faith that the centurion had. He did not ask Jesus to come and give a laying of hands to perform the miracle in his servant. No, he, he just asked Jesus for the words. And Jesus, obviously, on verse 9, answered like this. When Jesus heard these things, he marveled at him and turned around and said to the crowd that followed him, I say to you, I have not found such a great faith, not even in Israel. Not even in Israel. So you see, my friend, that is what Jesus was looking for at the time. That is what God is looking for today. It hasn't changed. We need to have inside of us the same type of decision. Because what we see, unfortunately, in many people is that when they pray, at the same time that they pray, they are waiting for a miracle to happen. Yes, but before the miracle happens, they are waiting for a sign of that miracle. If they see a sign, they believe. If they do not see, they don't believe. And because of that, they wait and wait and wait. And then it never happens. Because you're waiting for a sign to happen. My friend, you do not need a sign. You need to believe. To live upon the word that God is giving to you. Recently, we talked about forgiveness, right? So let's say you pray for forgiveness. The centurion prayed for healing, right? But you're not praying for healing. You're praying for forgiveness in this example. And you talk to God about your mistakes, about what you did, what you did wrong, the things that you're going to fix. And then you perform a change in your life. You're no longer going back to what you used to be. You've changed. And you're coming to Jesus to say that you're sorry. And you truly repented. That's over. That's over. No need for you to continue to talk about that over and over again. Are you sincere? Did you repent yourself? Really, Will you really change the way that you are? So now move forward. Do not 
keep praying on the same thing. It's over. Unless you have not forgiven yourself. But if you have forgiven yourself and you have changed the way that you used to be, so God forgives you. It's over. So when we talk about the Holy Spirit, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. There are many that when they worship the Holy Spirit, when they seek the Holy Spirit, they are waiting for them to feel something. Some to see some flashing lights, I don't know. Others to feel something within their hearts. They want to feel moved. My friend, you do not need to feel anything. We spoke about this very recently. God gives you the understanding. And not through the heart. There is no emotions involved in you receiving the Holy Spirit. What you receive is the mind of Christ. You change the way that you think. But it doesn't involve emotions. There are no emotions. There's no sensations. There are many of those that mistakenly think they have the Holy Spirit because they say that in the moment that they prayed, they felt something that moved them, that shaped them. No, my friend. There is no moving sensation. There is no such thing. It is just the certainty that He is with you. And that's over. It's over. And then you start a new life. Do you get what I mean? So perhaps you have been doing many fast of Daniels. Or perhaps this is your first one. And you've never seen the result throughout all of the fast of Daniels. And those that are doing for the first time... You're waiting for a sign. There's no sign. When you apply yourself in the Word of God, you're truly changing. And when I say changing is that you're not doing the things that you used to do in the past. You are being sincere to Him. You're opening yourself to Him. You're presenting yourself truthfully and sincerely to Him. Then it's, it's over. The Holy Spirit will come upon you. Now, you believe in that, and then you change your life. Do you understand? It is not that we want to bring to you a fake um, sensation. No, because we're not talking about emotions. It is not me trying to convince you. No, it doesn't require convincement. It is a matter of believing. You prayed, now you believe. On that prayer that you did. Because God. Understand this. He answers. He does not fail. He answers. To all of those that apply themselves. There is no way that you're going to do. Everything that needs to be done. And you will not see the answer. No. You will see the answer. It is just a matter. Of, the, of you doing like the centurion. To believe. So if you believe. Within this fast of Daniel, you receive the Holy Spirit. If you believe today, when you pray, but you pray truthfully and sincerely, you receive the Holy Spirit. But do not wait for a sign. Do not wait for a special emotion. No, no, no. No emotions evolve. You just need to believe. Do not overcomplicate things. It is simple. It is simple. Believe. And he will come to you. Understood? And by doing so, you will see the change in your life. The change will come as a consequence of that. Do not look back. Do not wonder. Just believe in what he has given to you. Okay? May God bless you all greatly in Jesus' name. And let's apply this teaching. And you will see the result that you need. God bless you all.